Zellige had just reached an amazing milestone and released a critical update you want to be familiar with. But first, a quick story. Once upon a time, in a world of tech-savvy people, there was a computer terminal that was the talk of the town. It was fast, efficient, it could perform any task without breaking a sweat. But one day, a problem arose that left everyone baffled. The terminal had only one command line shell, with no panes or windows or sessions to switch between different tasks. A new guy came into town. Please meet Zellige 0.38. Zellige isn't all that new. I've talked about it a couple of times and Aram, its creator, is listening. Let's see how Zellige is slowly becoming the royalty amongst the multiplexer family and the wanted additions that will make it the number one multiplexer out there. So, this is the crazy new version released last month. Zellige now has the long-awaited session manager amongst other cool additions. Lots of Zellige testers mentioned that the ability to run multiple sessions was critical to their work. Well, here it is. Let's see how it works and explore the other super cool features packed into version 0.38. Getting the latest version is as easy as running an upgrade command with your favorite package manager. Brew does that for me. And once the version is confirmed, we can fire it up. The release notes already state that by default, the session manager can be started from the session mode. However, I've got custom bindings, as you probably already know, if you don't watch the video above, and I have to make some extra few configurations to enable it in my own Zellige config file. Note that I'm using W here as the binding for the sessions. I'm not sure why at the moment it's just a placeholder. The word that came into mind is Windows. Makes sense at the moment, haven't made my mind yet. Don't worry about the configurations. You can get both either in my dot file is linked below. And of course the release notes by Aram that will also be linked in the description. Once I'm ready, I can fire Zellige back up and tap into the session mode where per my new key binding for W, I can now see the shiny new session manager where you can fuzzy find different existing sessions and switch between them. With Control W, I can create a new session. Something I'm still missing is the ability to choose a name as part of that menu and an easy way to rename sessions, kind of like I do when I use Tmux. To me, sessions slash workspaces, whatever you want to call them, make sense when they have a meaningful name that gives context to the work done within them. Otherwise, it's kind of missing the point, but I'll deal with it. Next up in this release, and something I personally found myself wanting quite a few times using Zellige, is the ability to break panes. This is the ability to create a new tab out of an existing pane. This is something I used to do completely manually as a Tmux user, and either I'd break them or just zoom in and out. I'll just mention again that the reason for the manual configuration changes you see me doing here are because of my custom key bindings. If you don't use any custom key bindings, it's ready to go. But what do you do if you want to break a pane apart into a new window where you can create new and additional panes around it? Sure, you can do it manually, which is what I'm used to do, but now Zellige does that automatically for you. So going into tab mode and hitting B per my key bindings checks out my focused pane into a newly created tab. Now, instead of top on the left and H top on the right, I have them separated into two tabs. It may sound something you don't often require, but I find myself constantly wanting to break panes apart and use them differently. The really cool thing about this feature is that it's reversible, but not only reversible in the sense of Control Z or undo. You can literally move an existing pane between tabs. So if you have a few different workspaces across multiple tabs and a single pane makes more sense in a different tab now, you can shift it as is across multiple running tabs using the same mode. Just run an opening or closing bracket to move it back and forth. Lastly, another neat addition with this release is your ability to set a shortcut to bind a floating pane and a command. So while I can trigger a floating pane and run whatever I want, like htop, Frequent commands like cargo test if you're a Rust hipster or go test if you're more of an ops oriented dev like me, you can now bind these two into one shortcut. This reminds me of vim mappings which I used to bind to the tt command in normal mode and that would trigger my tests. Here you get a full blown terminal window running the command within a floating pane. I won't feel I'm completely honest if I don't run a quick comparison to Tmux. So Zellige Session Manager is very cool. There's no doubt about that. But recently I've also been testing a nice idea that creates the same functionality within Tmux. 
It's using FZF and a Timux pop-up window. By the way, did you know Timux even had them? Anyway, the annoying thing about it is that it is a fuzzy finder and that's it. Creating new sessions has to be done by me outside the window. However, renaming them is a native functionality ingrained into Timux and I always do that. I'm still playing around with the idea of session switching and testing where it's more intuitive and comfortable for me. But if there's one key point to take away here is that Zelig is on a sprint. Not only it's actively developed with the community in mind, it's picking up where Timux slacks off. And I think that in no time we're going to see the things we all love in Timux within Zedge as well. Off the top of my head, these would be Resurrect and the complete freedom over my layout, you know, like status bar location, structure, the ability to build scripts and more. And just as an anecdote, and maybe this will be a video of its own one day, I recently found myself missing meetings because I spend most of my day within the terminal. I wrote a small script that checks my calendar and tells me within a pop-up message in Timex when a meeting of multiple parties is starting in the next 10 minutes. The palm icon you see on the top right hand corner is my sign for no meetings. But like I said, more on that in the future. Do let me know in the comments if this is of any interest. Thank you and I will see you on the next one.